In earlier discussions of substituted benzenes, an important point we made was that substituents, R groups attached to the benzene ring, can modulate or modify the amount of electron density within the ring and how, for example, nucleophilic the ring is. Electron donating groups, as their name implies, donate electron density to the ring, making the ring electron rich and a good nucleophile. Electron withdrawing groups pull electron density from the ring, making the ring electron poor and a relatively poor nucleophile. This idea is the key to understanding the relative rates of different types of substituted benzenes in electrophilic aromatic substitution, since in this reaction type, the ring acts as a nucleophile in the rate determining or slow step. In the first step of electrophilic aromatic substitution, the key electrophile E plus coordinates to the aromatic pi system, creating a cationic intermediate. In general, what we can say is that we go from something neutral, a neutral aromatic starting material, to a sigma complex intermediate that is positively charged. And this is true no matter where the electrophile adds. For example, I've shown here the electrophile adding at the ortho position with respect to the substituent R. But there are other possible products where the electrophile adds at the meta and para positions. We'll deal with the question of the site selectivity in the next video, but for the time being the point I want to make is that no matter where the electrophile adds, the ring carbons become positively charged in the sigma complex intermediate, and what the blue structures are showing you is the resonance hybrids that correspond to the sigma complex. In essence, in going from the starting aromatic to the sigma complex intermediate, we're draining electron density from the ring. Electron withdrawing groups which pull electron density from the ring themselves then will destabilize these cationic sigma complex intermediates since they're going to be pulling in this direction and trying to inject in a sense positive charge into the ring. Electron donating groups on the other hand are donating negatively charged electron density back to the ring and so these substituents will tend to stabilize the sigma complexes by introducing negative charge in the vicinity of the positive charge within the ring. Remember our electron density maps for substituted benzenes that we saw previously. Here's one for benzaldehyde, in which the substituent is an electron withdrawing group. The ring is starting out quite electron poor, and coordination of the electrophile drains even more electron density from this ring. We'll see what that looks like on the next set of slides, and you'll see that this is a very disfavored situation. Here's an electrostatic potential map for aminobenzene, or aniline, which is substituted with an electron donating group. Now we have a, quite a surplus or a large electron density within the ring, and so coordination of the electrophile is less of an issue since this ring, in a sense, has electrons that it wants to give away within the pi system. We can see the implications of these effects if we compare the reaction coordinate diagrams for reaction of benzene, which I'll draw in black, and reaction of an electron-rich substituted benzene which I'll draw in red. And here I'm exaggerating the difference in stability between the transition states and the intermediates, but this gets the point across. I'm also ignoring the second proton transfer step, since it's the formation of this sigma complex that really dictates the rate. In black, we're seeing the conversion of benzene to a sigma complex derived from coordination of the electrophile to one of the carbons of benzene. In red, let's consider an electron-rich substituted benzene such as aminobenzene, substituted with an NH2 group. For reasons that will become clear later, aminobenzene tends to react so that the electrophile bonds at either the ortho or para position. So I'm going to draw it here coordinated to the ortho position with respect to the carbon bound to the NH2 group. This creates a sigma complex intermediate that looks like this. And this intermediate is considerably lower in energy than the corresponding intermediate for benzene. Why is this? Well, we can actually see this directly if we recognize that the nitrogen adjacent to where the positive charge is located is an electron donating group. Donation of a pair of electrons from that nitrogen stabilizes this intermediate. Since this corresponds to an additional resonance structure in the substituted case that benzene does not have. The shift down in energy of the intermediate causes a corresponding shift in the transition state energy lower down and thus the reaction occurs more rapidly for aminobenzene, or aniline, relative to benzene. If we look at an electrostatic potential map for aniline again, watch what happens when we coordinate the electrophile. The electrophilic atom is here, and we can see that most of the electron density has actually been siphoned off toward the electrophilic atom. In this case, it's a chlorine atom, which is quite electronegative, and so the ring is left fairly electron-poor. 
But because of the presence of the electron donating group here, this isn't so bad. It's not as bad, for example, as the case with benzene, where there is no donation from a substituent toward the ring. What about the case when the substituted benzene is relatively electron poor? Well, to show this, I'm actually going to clear out the reaction coordinate diagram and redraw benzene. When we run this reaction with an electron poor benzene, something like benzaldehyde, what we find is that both the transition state energy and the energy of the sigma complex intermediate are higher than they are for parent benzene. So here, let's consider an electron deficient benzene, something like benzaldehyde. For reasons that will become clear later, benzaldehyde tends to react so that the electrophile ends up at the meta position with respect to the substituent. And a good way to see that this is a relatively unstable sigma complex is to consider the role of the electron withdrawing group in pulling electron density out of the ring. For example, I can draw a resonance structure of this sigma complex in which there are two positive charges within the ring. Ouch! This suggests that the electron density within the ring is extremely low, and in fact, if we look at electrostatic potential maps, we can see that. Here's benzaldehyde, which is already an electron deficient ring. Coordination of an electrophile, such as chlorine, to this ring causes an even greater drain of electron density from the ring, and the thing I want to draw your attention to is this dark blue spot in the center of the ring. That indicates severe lack of electron density within that aromatic ring, and this is why relative to benzene, this sigma complex is less stable than benzene sigma complex, and the corresponding transition state is also less stable or higher in energy. This causes electron poor rings to react more slowly than benzene in electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions.